This video was made in collaboration with Narutopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. The Life of Ino Yamanaka from Naruto Ino Yamanaka is a kunoichi of Konohagakure's Yamanaka clan. She and her fellow members of Team Asuma are their generation's Ino Shikacho trio. Welcome to the Amagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of Ino Yamanaka. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Background Ino is the only child of Inoichi Yamanaka and was a popular student during her time in the academy. There, she met Sakura Haruno, who was teased by other kids for her large forehead. Ino defended Sakura from the bullies and encouraged her to embrace her forehead rather than hide it, becoming good friends with her. Over the following years, Ino's guidance and friendship helped Sakura become more confident and develop into her own person. However, when Sakura found out that they had a crush on the same boy, Sasuke Uchiha, Sakura approached Ino, telling her of her liking towards Sasuke. Sakura then took it to end their friendship, starting their dislike towards each other at the beginning of the series. Prologue, Land of Waves In the anime, Ino races Sakura toward the academy, where they will be added to new teams along with the other graduates of her class. Despite hoping to be on the same team as Sasuke, she is devastated that not only Sakura becomes Sasuke's teammate along with Naruto Uzumaki, but she herself is added to Asuma's Team 10 with Shikamaru and Choji. Ino immediately lays ground rules for her new teammates to follow. Chunin Exams Despite how recently they graduated from the academy, Asuma enters Team 10 in the Chunin exams being held in Konoha. Shortly before the exams begin, Ino greets Sasuke by cheerfully hugging him, much to his and, of course, Sakura's chagrin. For the first stage of the exams, they're given a written test with 10 questions too difficult for the standard genin to be able to answer, and for which reason participants are expected to cheat without getting caught. Ino uses her mind-body switch technique to copy answers from Sakura's exam sheet and transfer the information to Shikamaru and Choji. For the second stage of the exams, Team 10 enters the Forest of Death to take part in a 5-day survival exercise. Team 10 initially spends their time avoiding conflict, hiding whenever they come across another team. When they are soon noticed by Neji Hyuga, Ino tries using her charm to convince Neji into giving her team the scroll, though she fails miserably and her team immediately retreats from Neji's intimidation. When they discover Sakura defending her teammates from a team of Otonin by herself, Ino recalls her childhood memories of their friendship and finally decides to help her. Team 10 initiates Formation Ino Shika Cho. Choji attacks Zaku Abumi with Human Bullet Tank, Shikamaru immobilizes Dosu Kanuda with his Shadow Imitation Technique, and Ino uses her Mind Body Switch on Kin Suchi. Ino tries to use Kin as a hostage, but Zaku opts to attack Kin himself rather than let her be used against him. Too tired to offer much more of a fight, Team 10 wonders what to do. When Sasuke regains consciousness and activates his new curse seal, Ino becomes frightened by the dark change in Sasuke's chakra, and released herself from Kin's body. After the Otonin retreat, the Konoha Genin take their leave, but not before Ino fixes Sakura's hair. After passing the second stage, the remaining Genin take part in one-on-one -on -one preliminary matches. For her match, Ino is paired against Sakura. They start by trading insults and then punches, surprising Ino because Sakura proves her equal in both categories. Frustrated, Ino follows Sakura's earlier example by cutting her hair, a ruse that allows her to immobilize Sakura while she uses her mind-body switch technique. In control of Sakura's body, Ino tries to make her forfeit the match, but she is stopped and exercised by inner Sakura. They're both exhausted by this, but exchange one final blow, knocking them both out. When they later wake up, Ino informs her that the match was ruled a tie and that therefore neither of them will continue to the finals. Despite this, they decide to rekindle their friendship, though can't help but continue to bicker over Sasuke. A few days later, Ino accompanies Sakura to visit Sasuke at the hospital with flowers, but discover he is gone. Instead, they see Lee training despite his injuries, causing him to fall unconscious as a consequence. On the day of the finals, Ino sat with Sakura in the audience and tried to cheer her up when Sasuke hadn't arrived yet. She becomes impressed by Naruto's victory over Neji and cheers for Shikamaru in his match with Tamari although is left shocked when he voluntarily gives up. Sasuke finally arrives for his match with Gara, and Ino watches the fight with interest, noting to Sakura that her teammates are amazing. Konoha Crush Ino and the rest of the audience are put to sleep by a genjutsu as the Konoha Crush begins. 
Several days after the invasion is successfully repelled, she attends the third Hokage's funeral. Sasuke Recovery Mission Team 10 goes to Yakiniku Q to celebrate Shikamaru's promotion to Chunin, though Ino becomes angered by Choji's gluttony and nearly insults him before Shikamaru silences her. She reveals she has been dieting to lose weight and make her more attractive and jokingly suggests for Choji to do the same before walking off. After the failed attempt to stop Sasuke from defecting from Konoha, Ino and Sakura visited the injured at the hospital, showing great relief at Choji's survival due to the 5th Hokage's efforts. In Naruto's Footsteps, The Friend's Paths in the anime, about two years after Naruto leaves Konoha to train, another Chunin exams is held. Because participants must enter as part of three-man teams, Ino invites Sakura to be Shikamaru's replacement on Team 10, since Shikamaru is already a Chunin. During the first exam, Ino, Sakura, and Choji are seated in different rooms and are tasked with getting a combined score of exactly 100 points on their written test, despite their separation. Ino telepathically contacts Sakura and Choji in order to assign which questions to answer. Those who pass the first exam must reach the demon desert within three days in order to participate in the second exam. Team 10 successfully does so and they're given the same objective as they had in the exam several years ago, obtain a scroll from another team. They wander through the desert for three days, losing their provisions to an Ame team. While recuperating at an oasis, they are confronted by Team Ameno, and Ino is knocked out on her first attempt to attack them. Awakening and remembering her training, she uses her sensing abilities to locate their attackers and telepathically links with Sakura and Shoji once more, allowing them to coordinate their attacks and defeat Team Ameno. Once Sakura and Ino heal their injuries, Team Ameno offers them the scroll. However, theirs is the same scroll that Team 10 already has, so they're allowed to keep it. They go their separate ways, agreeing to meet again in the third exam. Team 10 is later attacked by Team Saya. Saya possesses Ino's mind and forces her to attack Sakura. When Choji, meanwhile, begins overwhelming Saya's teammates, Saya possesses his mind instead, and she forces him to attack Sakura using his super multi-size technique. Ino is able to release Choji using her mind-body switch technique, forcing Team Saya to retreat. Team 10 is afterwards trapped in a sandstorm, during which Ino and Choji are poisoned by a cloaked Mamushi. Sakura escapes the sandstorm, defeats Team Saya, and then returns to heal Ino and Choji. Team 10 is eventually found by one of the exam's proctors, who brings them to where all the other genin are being assembled. They're informed that the Chunin exams have been cancelled. Reports on the participants' performances will be sent back to their villages, leaving their promotion up to their superiors. When they get back to Konoha, Tsunade promotes Ino, Sakura, and Choji to Chunin. Tenshi Bridge Reconnaissance Mission Ino comes to retrieve Choji for their mission with Asuma, and along the way happily greets Naruto after not seeing him in years. When Team 7 later returns from their failed mission to retrieve Sasuke, Team 10 visits them in the hospital where Kakashi is resting. Ino immediately expresses interest in Sai, who looks very similar to Sasuke, but Sakura tells her that his personality is much different. While their teachers discuss private matters, both teams have lunch at Yakiniku Q. Ino sits next to Sai and flirts with him. Sai, in an attempt to make friends by giving them nicknames, calls Ino beautiful, causing her to blush, and Sakura to become enraged as Sai previously called her ugly. Akatsuki Suppression Mission Ino and Choji are assigned to one of the 20 platoons, a task force assigned to hunt down Akatsuki members within the Land of Fire. Led by Raido Namiyashi and Aoba Yamashiro, the team is called in for backup when Asuma's team engages Hidan and Kakazu of Akatsuki. When they arrive, however, the Akatsuki members flee and Asuma's injuries are too severe for Ino to heal. Sensing his death, Asuma gives parting words to his students. He praises Ino's confident personality and tells her to look after Shikamaru and Choji, as well as to not lose to Sakura in any pursuit. Ino tearfully mourns Asuma's death and later attends his funeral in Konoha with Choji, asking him why Shikamaru hadn't arrived. Once Shikamaru gets everything ready, he sets out with Ino and Choji to hunt down Hidan and Kakazu. Tsunade tries to persuade them not to go, but they're all confident in what they plan to do. She tries to hold them back on the grounds that they need a fourth member, at which point Kakashi Harake appears and volunteers to be their fourth causing Tsunade to relent. After the team review their battle strategy, Ino uses her mind-body switch technique on a hawk to locate Hidan and Kakazu. The team engages the Akatsuki duo in battle, though Ino cannot contribute much in the fight as her mind-body switch alone is too risky to use in the battle, and due to her status as a medical nin. Since Hidan and Kakazu are formidable working together, Team 10 realizes the duo need to be separated if they're to be defeated. Ino volunteers to lead Hidan away, but Shikamaru insists her not to and goes in her place. Even with each side one member short, Kakazu still manages to easily overwhelm and capture Kakashi in Team 10. His attempt to kill them is blocked with the combined efforts of Naruto and Yamato, who arrive with Sakura and Sai to lend assistance. 
While Sakura and Sai set out to help Shikamaru, Naruto fights Kakuzu and eventually defeats him with his newly created wind-released Rasen Shuriken. Afterwards, Ino heals Naruto's injuries and praises him for his improved skills before the team's return to Konoha. Pain's Assault when Payne's assault on Konoha begins, Ino rushed to the village's intelligence division to inform her father of the attack. Shizune soon arrives, and they exchange information about Payne's identity and the method of his Six Paths technique. They are soon attacked by the Animal Paths rhinoceros, but are shielded by segments of Katsuyu. They relocate with the Konoha cryptanalysis team to further deduce Payne's location, though the Human Path ambushes them and captures Shizune, reading her mind before killing her. Ino mourns Shizune's death. Pain later destroys the village, but Ino and the villagers are saved from harm by Katsuyu. While Naruto fights Pain alone, she and her father meet up with Shikamaru and Shikaku Nara to pool their knowledge about Pain. With their combined information, they hypothesize that Pain is actually being controlled remotely by someone, likely from the highest point near Konoha. Ino and Shikamaru stay behind while their fathers search for Pain, who is eventually defeated by Naruto and revives everyone he killed in Konoha. Upon Naruto's return to Konoha, Ino joins in the celebration of his victory. In the anime, she says she could almost fall for Naruto, surprising Choji and Shikamaru. Five Kage Summit News reaches Konoha of Sasuke's recent activity with Akatsuki, namely his attack against Kumogakure Ninja. Most of the Konoha 11 decide that Sasuke can no longer be allowed to implicate Konoha in his criminal deeds and they resolve to personally kill him. Crestfallen by this decision, Ino cries uncontrollably over Sasuke and has to be comforted by Choji and Tenten. When Naruto returns to Konoha after learning of this and having his own confrontation with Sasuke, he requests that they leave dealing with Sasuke to him. Fourth Shinobi World War Confrontation When the Fourth Shinobi World War begins, Ino is placed in the Allied Shinobi Forces 5th Division. She and part of her division are later sent to provide support for the 1st Division, meeting Choji and Shikamaru along the way. When they arrive, they use formation Ino Shikacho on Kinkaku, allowing his capture in the Kohaku no Johei. After Kinkaku's defeat, Team 10 is immediately confronted by a reincarnated Asuma. Although none of them want to fight Asuma, they, as his former students, are experts on his fighting style and thus the best qualified to defeat him. When he notices their presence, Asuma congratulates them for their clear growth since he last saw them. They attack him and he's forced to counter, but he gives pointers about how to avoid his attacks and ultimately defeat him. Defeated, Asuma gives them new parting words, that he has nothing more to teach them since their teamwork is now perfect. The demonic statue of the Outer Path suddenly appears in the battlefield and starts devastating the First Division, causing Ino and her team to take cover. The statue later vanishes after Tobi escapes with the Benihisago and the Kohaku no Johei, which contain the reincarnated Gold and Silver Brothers. Fourth Shinobi World War Climax After being informed by her father at HQ that Naruto and Killer B were fighting the masked Madara, Ino and the rest of the Konoha 11 rush to his aid. As she runs, she thanks her father for relaying Naruto's strong feelings to everyone and promises that his foretelling of their victory will be realized. Ino and the rest of the allied shinobi forces arrive just in time as she, with Hinata Hyuga's aid, uses her mind-body switch technique on Tobi, real name Obito Uchiha, to shift the Tentails tailed beast ball away from Naruto's group. Shikaku Nara, through Inoichi's telepathic link, relays a plan of restraining the Tentails to the assembled allied forces, but the plan is unsuccessful. Obito and Madara Uchiha are nevertheless concerned by Shikaku's strategies and have the Ten Tails fire a tailed beast ball at the distant allied HQ, where Inoichi and Shikaku are stationed. Before the HQ is destroyed, Inoichi tells a crying Ino that he is proud of his daughter for blossoming into the bush clover of the Yamanaka clan and making strong bonds with her friends. With no time to grieve, the remaining allied forces enact Shikaku's last plan after being empowered by Naruto's version 1 like cloaks a large-scale formation Ino Shikacho. Obito is unable to break free of Ino's improved mind-body switch technique, which enables her to save Choji from being skewered by the Tentail's wooden spikes. She releases her technique and returns to her body once Shikamaru and the other Nara members restrain the Tentails. The attack succeeds in removing the Tentails from Obito and Madara's control, but this makes its attacks more devastating and indiscriminate. When the Tentails prepares to destroy the allies with a tailed beast ball, Ino uses the mind-body transmission technique to connect Shikamaru with Kitsuchi and teach him a simple protective wall. Obliging to Shikamaru's request, regardless of her capacity, Ino manages through some strain to connect Shikamaru to the rest of the allies, so that he can teach them this same jutsu to use it to try and deflect the tailed beast ball. 
It breaks through all their defenses, but is slowed enough for the reincarnated fourth Hokage to arrive in time to save them. Sasuke Uchiha arrives shortly after the fourth, claiming to now want to help protect Konoha by defeating the Ten Tails. A surprised Ino immediately rushes towards Sasuke's location before her teammates warn her to stay away from him. With their whole graduating class together again, which Ino finds nostalgic, the members of Team 7, 8, and 10 attack the Ten Tails minions. For Team 10's contribution, they use the Human Bullet Yo-Yo, where Ino uses her sensing technique to detect the number of enemies present and transmits the information into Shikamaru's mind so he can have Choji attack them. Their formation is quite successful, but does not compare to the amount of damage inflicted by Team 7's members. Ino later noticed that something was troubling Shikamaru, but he dismissed her. Birth of the Ten Tails Jinchuriki Obito eventually becomes the Ten Tails Jinchuriki, against whom only Naruto, Sasuke, and the four reincarnated Hokage can fight. Morale starts to sink because of this, so Ino telepathically links Shikamaru to the Alliance in order to boost their morale. When Obito prepares to destroy the Alliance with four-tailed beast balls, Naruto and the fourth Hokage are able to teleport Ino and everyone to safety through their reactivated version 1 light -like cloaks. Obito employs a different tactic recreating the god tree to feed off the chakra of whatever allies it comes into contact with. Ino is able to avoid having her chakra drained, but Shikamaru is not as fortunate, and she and Shoji rush towards their falling teammate. When Hashirama Senju appears, Ino connects him to the Alliance and the approaching five Kage, so that he can explain the details of Madara's Eye of the Moon plan, but this further demotivates them. Ino's act of telepathy soon conveys Naruto's feelings and memories, as well as those of Hashirama to the entire Alliance, giving them the morale they need to keep fighting. While Naruto and Sasuke engage Obito in battle, a version 1 cloak begins forming around Shikamaru as Sakura heals him. Ino senses from her technique that it is due to Naruto's subconscious desire to protect his comrades. After thanking Naruto and Sakura for Shikamaru's recovery, Ino relays Tsunade's message. When she arrives on the battlefield, of Katsuyu's healing abilities to the Alliance. She then helps Naruto and Sasuke defeat Obito, first by joining the rest of the Konoha 11 in hitting Obito with one of Naruto's Rasengan, and then by assisting the allies in pulling the tailed beast's chakra from Obito's body. Even with Obito defeated, other threats still remain. A final Zetsu begins overwhelming most of the Alliance, which they're all too weak to put up much of a fight against. During this time, a shocked Ino senses Naruto's weakened physical state, caused by the Ninetales' extraction from his body. When the infinite Tsukiyomi is cast upon the world, Ino, alongside most people, are immobilized by the Genjutsu and restrained. Kaguya Otsotsuki strikes. In her dream, Ino is fought over by Sasuke and Sai as she joyfully asks them not to, while her still alive father watches her with pride. Naruto and Sasuke eventually release the infinite Tsukiyomi, freeing Ino and the rest of the world and thus ending the fourth shinobi world war. Kakashi Hiden, Lightning in the Icy Sky After Lee informs Tsunade that both Kakashi and Gai are on the Tobishachi Maru, Ino is ordered to attempt to make contact with them while Tsunade assembles Konoha's available personnel. Following the killing of another hostage, Kakashi is contacted by Ino and she reports all exploding tags have been found and delivered to Gai who will set up a distraction so Kakashi can gather the remaining passengers and get them to safety. Before breaking off communication, Kakashi requests that Sai be sent to provide assistance. Kakashi sends a message to Ino that the Tobishachibaru is heading to Blood Prison. Tsunade decides that the ship must be destroyed before another village is forced to intervene. She has Ino tell Kakashi to do what he can, but also warn him of her decision. She sends all available Konoha ninja, except for Naruto, to the Blood Prison, with the standing order to destroy the ship if it's about to cross the border into Iwagakure. As prisoners start to escape, Armament Alliance forces storm in looking for Gario. Ino performs her mind-body transfer technique on Gario to take control of his body so he cannot escape and returns back to the Blood Prison. Ino then delivers a message from Tsunade that Kakashi is to personally see to it that the ship is destroyed before the Tsuchikage has a chance. Shikamaru Hiden, a cloud drifting in silent darkness. Before Shikamaru heads out on the mission to investigate Gengo, he sees his childhood friends and teammates, Ino and Choji. As they reminisce about their childhood with Asuma, he doesn't have the heart to tell them about the assassination mission, desiring not to get them involved in such a task. However, later when Tamari notices Shikamaru's strange behavior during the meeting of union representatives and goes to negotiate with Konohagakure, Ino, Choji, and Sakura also go with her to save Shikamaru and the other shinobi of Konohagakure. Aside from worrying about her friend Shikamaru, Ino is more eager to save Sai. 
the one who is under Gengo's Genjutsu, and whom she has a crush on. She is triggered into action after reading his distressed letter and is overwhelmed with a desire to rescue Sai from his inner conflict. Despite the danger for herself, Ino performs the mind-body switch technique and sinks deeply into Sai's heart to salvage his consciousness as she feels she is the only one who can rescue him. She feels that she wants to learn more about him and his loneliness as she dives deeper down into him. Ino finds him trapped deep in his consciousness, crying and wrapping himself with the memories of his friends, and she calls out to him before putting a reassuring hand on his shoulder, which he returns with a heartfelt smile. When Sai is successfully saved by her, the two wake from Ino's jutsu and instinctively reach for each other's hands, and Sai expresses his gratefulness to Ino as her eyes begin to tear up by affectionately calling her Miss Beautiful. After Gengo is defeated, Shikamaru assures Sai that everything he's done is no fault of his own, and Gengo's genjutsu is solely responsible. Shikamaru then asks Ino to look after Sai as they depart. The last, Naruto the movie. Two years after the war, Team 10 walk by the academy where Naruto is teaching a class. Ino, noting that he has become very popular with many people, mostly women, since saving the world. Team 10 later has dinner with Naruto and Sakura at Ichiraku Ramen, and Ino invites Hinata to come sit with them when she appears. Using her telepathy, she alerts the 6th Hokage of meteors falling towards Earth, and receives a message from Kumogakure about a telecommuted 5 Kage summit. After Toneryo Totsuki is defeated, Ino announces to the Earth and its people that they were safe due to the Hanabi rescue team. Konoha Hiden, the perfect day for a wedding. Ino goes into a shop so as to buy a present for Naruto and Hinata's wedding. She reaches for a picture frame, only to have her hand be met by Sakura's doing just the same. Sakura uses her superhuman strength to pull the picture frame from Ino's hand, to which Ino responds by claiming the picture frame is ugly and a terrible gift. The two get into an argument so heated that they're thrown out of the store, with neither of them able to purchase the picture frame. Ino blames Sakura for what's happened, insisting Sakura's unnatural strength and large forehead make her uncouth, and more particularly, unlikely to ever be married. Sakura is deeply insulted by the latter accusation and challenges Ino to a cooking competition to prove that she would make a good wife. Ino puts military rations pills in Sakura's favorite dessert, Anmitsu, and Sakura does the same in Ino's favorite dessert, Pudding. The next day, Ino wants to use Choji as an impartial judge. Choji samples each of their soldier pills and finds them so delicious that he starts putting them in his mouth by the handful. He soon collapses to the ground with blood running from his nose. Sakura suspects Ino put poison in her soldier pills, intending for Sakura to try one and fall deathly ill. Ino suspects the same of Sakura. In order to save Choji, they must identify the poison as soon as they can. Each samples the other's soldier pills, so that they can identify what type of poison it is. Neither can taste poison, but they do taste their favorite desserts, Ino loving the pudding in Sakura's, and Sakura loving the Anmitsu in Ino's. Choji gets up soon afterwards, having finally recovered from his blood sugar overload, and he praises both of their soldier pills. Sakura and Ino reflect on their like-mindedness and how their competitions always push each other to be better. They therefore decide to go shopping together, helping each other find a gift even better than the picture frame. Ino attends Naruto and Hinata's wedding as she enters the venue holding Sai's hand, showing they were in a relationship at the time. They were described as looking blissfully happy as their friends tease them on the progress of their relationship. After the wedding, she takes a photo of herself along with Hinata, Sakura, and Tenten. Sasuke Shinden, Book of Sunrise Ino, along with the others, arrive at the Konoha entrance following an invasion by intruders. Ino recognizes one of the intruders as a regular patron of her family's flower shop known as Tadaichi. Ino is in disbelief after the kind old man explodes in front of her, followed by a number of other intruders. Following their efforts, they're able to stop the invasion, but Ino and Aoba pass out from exhaustion after they use their techniques and are both transported to the hospital on Sai's super beast imitating drawing, along with Sakura who provides them a medical aid. Shikamaru and Choji decide to visit Ino at the hospital and find that Sai is watching over her while she sleeps as he sketches a flower that Ino's mother brought her. They discuss the attack from a few days earlier and the heightened security measures that have since been put into place. They begin discussing possible motives, but then realize they shouldn't be doing this while Ino is recovering. Shikamaru and Choji get up to leave, but Sai remains, claiming that he will leave as soon as he's completed his drawing. However, Shikamaru notices several of Sai's already near-completed sketches in the trash as he exits. Shikamaru and Choji realize that Sai did not want to leave Ino's side, and begin discussing how much he has changed from the emotionless man they first met. New Era Inspired by her father's commitment to the village and noble sacrifice, Ino took the lead in rebuilding the village's sensory network after the Fourth Shinobi World War, earning herself great acclaim. Ino and Sai eventually got married, and sometime after had a son named Inojin. 
whom they help train to become part of the new generation of Ino Shikacho. Sarada Uchiha Arc In the anime, Ino takes Sakura on a surprise trip to a seaside cliff where Sasuke and Sakura went on their first date. She leaves Sakura alone in order to let her enjoy reminiscing about her first date. On the day of the Five Kage Summit in Konoha, Ino becomes irritated that her son Inojin didn't turn up to his training, since he normally is so motivated for it as Sai attempts to calm her. Ino tells Karui of the importance of their children practicing the Ino Shikacho formation even in peaceful times. A few days later, at the village gate along with Choji, Ino spots Sakura, Naruto, Sasuke, Chocho, Akamichi, and Sarada Uchiha returning to the village. She muses about Chocho's shock towards her father's changed figure. While Ino happily greets Sasuke since he has not been seen in the village for a number of years, Sarada interrupts her due to having just dealt with the situation involving Kareen, which amuses Sakura and confuses Ino. Graduation Exams Arc In the anime, after Inojin loses his ability to perform the super beast imitating drawing technique, he becomes frustrated at not being able to find the reason why, and instead seeks his mother's help to teach him her mind-body switch technique. Whilst working in the flower shop together, Ino begins to worry about Inojin and that he may end up giving up trying to discover the solution to his problem on his own. Sai comforts Ino by telling her he has faith in Inojin because he is their son, causing Ino to become flustered. Ino then shows amusement on how awkward her husband remains. Whilst Inojin prepares to throw away his old drawings, Ino and Inojin discover one of his old drawings he made of his family, and Ino remarks how happy Sai was when he saw it, which motivates Inojin to retry performing the technique again. Shortly after, at the academy, Ino and Inojin took part in a meeting with Shino to discuss her son's progress and future goals following his graduation. Naruto Shinden, Parent and Child Day Naruto and Himawari visited Yamanaka Flowers in search of Kurama dolls. Ino pointed out that they of course would not sell Kurama dolls, but instead gave Himawari free sunflowers as a thank you gift for helping Inojin during his art slump, and also for simply finding her so cute. In their home at the end of Parent and Child Day, Sai rests on Ino's lap as she affectionately comforts him while Inojin laughs on watching his parents from a distance following their own exertions during the day. Versus Momoshiki Arc Ino hangs out with Sakura and Tamari one day, and they see Naruto's shadow clones running around to help out villagers. The three women later sit together to watch the Chunin exam's final round, where Ino becomes exasperated when Shikadai Nara mirrors his father's actions in his youth by giving up against Boruto Uzumaki. When Momoshiki and Kinshiki Otsutsuki attack the arena, Ino proceeds to get the endangered away from the ensuing battle. Mitsuki's Disappearance Arc In the anime, when two Chunin gate guards were assaulted by unknown attackers, the village went into lockdown. During it, Ino began treating them. Once one of the guards was stabilized, Ino probed his mind for answers, shocked to discover that Mitsuki willingly left with the attackers. Time Slip Arc In the anime, when the grown-up Sasuke and Boruto were sent back in time to shortly after Sasuke's defection, they pretended to be traveling performers, but were put under watch by Naruto, during which past Ino and her friends helped Boruto and Naruto clean up a bathhouse after the commotion Naruto and Jiraiya caused. Days later, Ino and the rest of her team invited Boruto and Naruto to join them in an after-mission barbecue dinner at Yakiniku Q. Later, Konohamaru, Moegi Kazamatsuri, and Udon Issei approached Ino and her friends for help, telling how Naruto and Boruto were battling a dangerous foe. They quickly agreed to help. By the time they arrived, however, the battle was already over. The group then escorted their injured friends to the hospital. Days later, after Sasuke and Boruto recovered and prepared to return to their times, Sasuke first uses Sharingan to erase the memories of everyone he and Boruto came into contact with of the recent events in order to protect the timeline. Days later, Inojin approached his parents with a desire to master the mind-body switch technique, believing he needed to become stronger. After showing ease with performing the technique on small animals, Ino had Inojin attempt to perform the technique on Chocho to prevent her from reaching a bag of potato chips. He was unable to overwhelm her will, causing Ino to become frustrated with him for wanting to give up. Sai attempted to intervene, only to lead to a quarrel between them over Inojin and his training. The quarrel quickly develops into a fight, with both Ino and Sai refusing to hold back. Inojin tried to perform the technique on both of his parents to stop the fight, but to no avail. About to give up, he performed the technique once again into his mother, and revealed to her that Sai told him how she had once saved him with the mind-body switch technique and now his goal is to help others using the jutsu, thus leading him to gaining control of Ino's body. Sai embraced Ino with a hug, and they complimented Inojin for having mastered the technique, before walking back home together. In the anime, several months later, while Himawari was out observing different jobs for her career, she saw Ino working hard in her flower shop. 
Later, after completing a ninja trial session at the academy, Himawari concluded that she would like to experience more jobs, such as working in a flower shop, besides being a ninja as well, just like Ino. Kara Actuation Arc In the anime, Ino was tasked with probing the mind of Katasuke Tono after his sudden change in behavior. Ino delved deep inside his soul and mind over and over again to determine that he was being controlled by someone, using him to gather his intel on the development of scientific ninja tools. She reported her findings to Naruto. Later, after Team 7 and Team 10 were defeated by Deepa, Ino and Hinata took Sakura out for a girls' night out, where the three discussed their concerns for their children as shinobi. Following an overhaul of the village's sensing system in light of recent infiltrations, Ino organized a trial run, inviting all shinobi with sensory skills to participate, including Inojin. Inojin underperformed, failing to apprehend mock intruders, so she apologized for making him take part despite having little interest in sensing. After learning the reasons behind Ino's enthusiasm about the job, Inojin gave it another try and was able to detect an actual intruder, who had disguised his chakra signature with a registered one. Inojin wondered if she'd quit working at Yamanaka Flowers, but she reassured him that both were important to her, and that he should do what he enjoyed as well. Ao Arc In the anime, Ino attended the memorial service for the fallen people of the Fourth Shinobi World War, where she and Shikamaru reminisced their father's death. At the end of the memorial service, she met Ao, the sole survivor of the Ten Tails attack on the Allied Shinobi Forces HQ. Knowing he worked beside his father, Shikamaru asked if Shikaku and Inuichi really believed they could defeat the Ten Tails of this final plan. Ao assured them that their fathers never had any doubt about their abilities and were proud of them to the end, moving Ino and Shikamaru. Kawaki Arc While working at Yamanaka Flowers, Naruto, Sarada, and Kawaki entered the store to pick out a replacement for Himawari Uzumaki's broken vase. Ino greeted them and recognized Kawaki from earlier talks with Naruto. Naruto discreetly informed her that the enemy will come for Kawaki, and that they will require the continued support from the Sensing Division. Following Kawaki picking a vase, Ino offered to add some flowers, but the sight of the stems triggered Kawaki, reminding him of his childhood and causing him to drop the vase. After he calmed down, the three left the shop. Later, as she finished helping another customer, she detected an intruder entering the village. She quickly contacted the Barrier Team, who perceived the chakra shortly afterwards and noted that it was an unknown chakra signature. Ino warned Naruto about the intruder. Following the dangers associated with Kawaki and enemies after him, Ino told Inojin to maintain a certain distance from Kawaki. Later still, Ino sold flowers to Sakura, surmising Sasuke would be home soon. She confessed she couldn't imagine having a husband who's home so infrequently. While Sarada was asking her mother about the strength of a hundred seal, Ino trembled when detecting an incredibly sinister chakra appearing next to Naruto. Ino determines the chakra she detected must be the enemy after Kawaki, so she immediately contacts Naruto. Naruto tells her that he again wants to confront the enemy one-on-one, -on -one, but this time Ino moves to have the police force on standby for him. She updated Shikamaru on the disappearance of Naruto's chakra before he arrived at the scene. She again sent a dispatch to Shikamaru's team about Sasuke's return and his condition. After Naruto was rescued and recovered, the village was put on high alert. While Team 10 was training outside the village territory, Kara's chief scientist Amato appeared, and took Shigadai as a hostage and demanded to talk with Shikamaru as the acting head of the village, unaware that Naruto was saved. Terrified, Inojin called Ino for help. Ino immediately contacted reinforcements before informing Shikamaru of the situation. As Amato made clear that he could kill Shikadai anytime with the bomb, Ino put Amato in contact with Shikamaru, from whom Amato becomes aware that Naruto was alive and well. Shikamaru requested Ino to widen her telepathic range so that Naruto and the others could also hear Amato. Amato then firmly stated that he wished to defect Konoha, offering his full intel on Kara, their tentails, and even on the Otsutsuki which was allowed by Naruto under strict conditions. After being betrayed by Amato and Koji Kashin, Ishiki Otsutsuki defeated Koji and immediately teleported to Konohagakure to rebrand Kawaki with Akama. Ino instantly sensed him and contacted Naruto, warning him of an enemy with an unknown chakra signature above the village. Ino relayed Shikamaru's evacuation orders to other shinobi and updated Naruto and Ishiki's location. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.